Um, since I've decided I'd probably be using my KSG to, you know, test out loads that um, I found aren't going to be catastrophic or anything. <laughs> Just so I know what they're going to do in this. Um, I've also decided to do some upgrades, which I guess are a bit tricky. So I'm not going to tempt them on camera because I don't want to be chasing parts around. Uh, now these things... Let's see, make sure there's nothing in there. Um, <laughs> you know, there's some real creep. So, um, yeah. um, I found a company uh, called M Carbo, and they make um, they call it a target uh, trigger. And um, a spring kit that is, uh, I guess they've engineered out the creep, is what they claim. Um, I'm not sure if the trigger's lighter or what, but my guess is they've, you know, changed the geometry or something on the trigger. I know there's a set screw. I don't know if it's, you know, works like um, the J-Bob. Or if that's something, you know, completely different. I haven't torn it apart to, to see. Well, at least, you know, not the action part. Um, between the two, it's about a $50 upgrade. Um, <laughs> just one more upgrade. These things are, you know, just... There's, there's upgrades out there, but they're, you know, they really add up. Everything's a bit expensive. But, hey... That's what you get when you go for the odd stuff. So hopefully this will, uh, yeah, make things just that much better. But I heard these springs can be um, a real pain to keep in place as you're putting it back together. So uh, someone mentioned, you know, heavy string or um, fishing line running through it so if it tries to fly across the room it's you know stopped and retained so yeah i gotta watch all that how to do that um but anyway you know fire it one one shotgun and then flip it over to another things could be completely different but you know i hate to you know ramp up the charges in this and go whoopsie um <laughs> it'd be a very expensive um issue uh yeah there are more expensive shotguns out there but eef, these things you know are not cheap oh yeah <laughs> sling another upgrade uh, you know i've done a little bit to it um <laughs> it doesn't take much and suddenly you're well you know, they go for grand in these little things. Um, but anyway, when I get it together, uh, see how much creep comes out of it, get a shot of that, and, you know, see how much difference it makes. People claim it makes a, a quite a bit of difference because, you know, bull pups are just tend to be that way. Uh, so, well, I'll leave you that for now. Come back when I got something more to show. <laughs> All right, so I just got done uh, putting that trigger and spring kit in here. I'm glad I didn't try to do it on video. Uh, getting it back together can be a bit of a bear because there are four pins that have to align up uh, when you put the clamshell back together. And there's also a spring that straddles um, the separation. Uh, for the action bar and uh, somebody commented on their site they should uh you know including their video to uh run a strong piece of string or um fishing line or something through the spring and around the action bar to keep it from um you know disappearing <laughs> uh and good advice um even if it doesn't try you know taking off under pressure eh, you know it falls out easy while you're trying to get pins situated if they don't line right up uh but 
yeah, I ran into some issues and didn't get things right the first time. So it took me a couple hours. Um, it's not really complicated. It's just getting things lined up. Um, not getting impatient and not trying to, you know, <laughs> you know, brute force it or anything, which I didn't, but oh, I, you, you got to be patient. Um, now, video on their site cuts off um, just as putting in the action bar. Uh, go to YouTube and it, the whole video is there. It, it's 10 minutes longer um, and some tips on getting things together, which it's kind of weird. Um, I know it's, it's on their site. It doesn't link to YouTube, so I don't know where they're hosting it. Maybe that's what happened because it's 29 minutes versus 39 minutes kind of thing. Um, now, when they start out, they use a trigger gauge. I think it was around 7 pounds. And after, it was around 3, 3 and a half. So, it cuts that in half. On a 12 gauge. Um, it's a pretty light trigger. And, yeah, the set screw in the trigger works like the Joe Bob. It uh, runs up against um, the sear and just takes out the creep. But you adjust that before you put it together because <laughs> there's no opening. Uh, but yeah, this thing now. There's basically no creep. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, and three, three and a half pound trigger pull on a 12 gauge. So, yeah, um, like I said, it's about a $50 upgrade, something like that. Uh, and completely changes the trigger because bull pups inherently have a mushy trigger and you know a lot of creep and this basically takes that out of it and you go from a, a plastic trigger to um aluminum yeah there's just two springs that get replaced uh, yeah um <laughs> it's kind of expensive but uh, it completely changes it so hopefully that will help with um you know uh, accuracy and stuff once I get used to it and uh, you know not afraid of accidentally touching all round off you know? <laughs> yeah. because yeah, it's pretty light and well <laughs> that's why they call it target trigger so yeah well I'll leave you that God bless